something you want people to know about your parents. Oh, that's a pretty No, you go. Oh, my. Okay, well, what I want everybody to know about my parents is that they're so encouraging. They're encouraging. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. They're so, they're always telling jokes. My mom is dancing constantly. And my dad is criticizing her dance. Oh, also a couple weeks ago when my mom kicked the dress, my dad was like, that's the, like the first athletic move I've see, ever seen you done in 10 years. And then mommy pushed him and threw the dress. Threw the dress when you all. What message do you have for them on the anniversary? That's his feet. Mommy, daddy, I love you so very much. Happy anniversary. Ma, okay, my my message is mommy and daddy are. <laughs> Aw, man. Mama. Oh, you think while he's thinking, uh, there was something I've been meaning to say. I want to teach you about how my mom and my dad taught me about the love of God. Me That's all I remember. Me too, me too, my dad. <laughs> No, I don't got nothing. That is that. all I remember. Okay, talk uh, me my, my mom and my That's dad, all. I wish them a happy anniversary. This is the same thing I said. Short pause. Hold your breath for the dynamic duo. So we met in 1997 right. at a party, um, and I walk in, and I think I was introduced to you or something. Yes, you were. And then that was it. That's all I remember. And I think we enjoyed the party. I left. A year later, I was working at Popeyes at the high school, and this guy walks in and says, "Hey, <laughs> I've been looking for you for a year." And I was like, "Okay, that's creepy. Who is this?" And then he was like, oh, I met you at a party last year, and I've been looking for you. I've been told you live here, you live there, Woodlawn, Murgate, and I've been waiting for you. And I was like, I don't remember you at all. Anyway, we started talking. Um, I gave you my number, which is actually Popeye's number. You couldn't I'm... give me your own phone number. You were going to get in trouble. <laughs> um, and we, we used to talk. We were friends. I didn't want anything to do with him because I had heard about him. He had a reputation, and I wanted nothing to do with it. But you gave me your number, though. Well, I gave you Popeye's number. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we, we became friends for, for a while. Okay. And, you know, I realized that he was a really, he was a nice guy. He was not what the people were saying that he was. He was sweet and really, really nice. And kept telling me, even back then, when we were little, that he was going to marry me. And I, I kept telling him, I don't know how you're going to marry me when I wouldn't even go out with you. Anyway, so fast forward to 1999, summer before college, he, he wouldn't leave me alone, so here we are. Assistant. Ten, ten, years, ten years later, so that's my account. What is yours? I mean, basically, it's the same, uh -huh. except I don't know if you were introduced to me. I think you just walked up to me and asked me if I wanted to dance. I don't know if you remember that. No, I didn't. You don't remember that? No. Well, that's how I saw you. came up to me and you asked me if I wanted to dance. <laughs> so I said, okay. I don't know where. No names, nothing, no introduction, nothing. You just want to dance. I said, well, it's a party, so why not? Yes. And then okay. we danced, and then you just disappeared. So how do you know? Ask friends about you. Well, you told me your name, though. Okay. And then, you know, you're right. How do you know? Follow you around. Try to, try to catch you because I didn't know where you were. You lived here. You lived there. I don't like the way he sneezes. It Come is on, the man. most annoying thing That's in the world. True. You should see me no, sneeze. No, no, no. I will demonstrate. So everybody sneezes. That's you. Bless you. It's done. That's, no, no, no. That's weak. Not Kwame. Kwame sneezes like this. Ah! That's sneezing with confidence. It's like you <laughs> sneezing with confidence. That's, yes. It's really annoying. Like no, he sneezes. Good, he though. sneezes so hard that the people next door says bless you. 
I'm getting blessings from everywhere. <laughs> just easy. He wakes up the baby. I can't do it. Another thing <laughs> is the way he eats peanuts. Oh, don't First of all, he eats peanuts like who eats elephants eat a lot of peanuts? Right? Are you calling me an elephant? No, no, no. What I'm saying is he eats peanuts like it's going out of style. So we always have peanuts in the house, but this is, he doesn't eat it like, maybe you just take a couple of peanuts, eat it, done, right? No, there's a production with that. He has to first put the peanuts in his palm, he has to shake it around, and then he throws it in his mouth one by one. It's, and I just watch him and I'm like, some days I hope he would choke on it. It's like, I hope he would choke. Mm, that's not gonna happen, I'm a pro on that. Dang on peanuts, so he would just I've stop throwing the peanuts in his mouth. I hate the way you eat peanuts. But I love it. Oh my God. I think it's cool. So I mean, what about me? You, I like everything about you. Oh. Not really. You just say psych. Okay, okay, what? I don't, you kind of like everything about you. Okay, Mostly don't say like that. I'm just all kidding. Right, all right, all right. Anyway. Give the open stuff up. Let's say, uh, take the milk out of the fridge, open the tap, pour the milk. She will put the milk back in the fridge with no tap on. And that goes for everything. Every time he, she opens um, stuff up, she will never close it back up. The tap is wide open, she just lifts it in there. So I have to keep following her and then, you know, close it up every time. I don't even complain anymore. I know it's going to be wide open. So I, just... I don't know what happens. I don't know how the milk ends up in the fridge with no top on it. Well, Cup. that's what you know. do. The Vaseline, the cover goes missing, the cocoa butter. It's always Nothing happens the top in the house. Nothing. I have a feeling that you probably hide it. Just so you can no, put it No, I don't. No. I wouldn't do that. You know I want it covered. So I'm not going to hide it. Secondly, what? when I cook and she likes my food, as soon as we're done eating, it goes straight in the fridge. The rest, I mean, the one that's left behind, it goes in the fridge. Okay. But when she don't like my food, I wake up in the morning and it'll still be sitting on the stove <laughs> and it will not be in the fridge. Really? So then I know that it's not good. You, really? know? you do that all the time. I never noticed. Are you serious? I think it's one more. One uh, more? Yes, that I don't like. Maybe well, the fact that my, my, my horrible sense of time. That, yes. <laughs> I can never tell time. Yeah. Like I always think some like okay, so I'll say I'll be home in thirty minutes and then I'll that be home. That means in... two hours. <laughs> so we have to calculate it ahead of you. Know. But then you still get upset and I'm thinking after sixteen years it's you should be used to it. If I said thirty minutes, I'm well, you should hours. be used to no one time. I shouldn't be used to you not knowing time. No. You should get it right. Because time is, you know, precious. You can't just waste time. So, I want to talk about our kids. Can we talk about our kids? Sure, let's do that. We're just talking about our kids all the time. Well, we do it twice. So, we have kids. three kids, as you guys know. We have Morgan. So, Morgan is the... If you need information... Yeah, she's the queen of information. She Morgan is, yes. knows everything. I Sometimes I think it's useless information, really, because she knows... The other day, she says to me, Mommy, do you know that... What is it? Saturn? It's hotter or something? 6,000 times hotter? I yeah, don't, exactly. I don't said, um, But she knows. She knows everything about the constellation. Oh, yeah. But she's also the sarcastic one. She gets that from him. She's a smart ally. Very really smart. She <laughs> cannot answer a question yes or no. She has to answer it with like some sort of a sarcastic comment. Sometimes you know I forget I mean? that she's seven and I want to like, you know, I get her in the mouth. Oh, you can't. <laughs> can't do that to me. And then we have Miles, who is... Now, Miles. He's slick. <laughs> Miles is the one that asks a lot of questions. You cannot just tell him something and he takes you at face value. Details, baby. He needs details. You have to be precise. You have to give him a lot of details. He needs to know. He needs to know, right? Yeah. Before he moves on. Mackenzie, the newest one. That is a surprising one right there. She, well, she's a surprise. And <laughs> <laughs> That's true. She, but she is... The feisty one. Oh yeah. She is I wasn't 18 that. months of a, a ball of fire. Yeah. She gets us running around in the house. We do whatever she says. We do whatever she She's wants. The boss, She's mean, the boss. She runs right? that yeah. wild. She's the boss of all four of us. All of us. We wake up catering to her. We go to bed catering to her. Mackenzie doesn't isn't happy. Nobody's happy in the house. And I like the way the two Morgan and Miles when I'm downstairs to Mackenzie scenario and a tumble, they hear a noise or something, they both come running down. And then like, everybody's like, is Mackenzie okay? What's going on? What's, what's happening? What, what, what did you do to him? I mean, what, <laughs> what did you, you do, do to her? I'm like, yo, relax, man. I thought I was the father. Why are you questioning me, man? They want to make sure. They're like, is so she they're, okay? Yeah, they're, they're like, sisters yeah, she's are. And then they just walk back up. Yeah, they're very, they're very like protective. That. So she, she definitely runs us. Oh, yeah. 
but you they're know, lovely though. Love they, them to death. They have made us who we are. I think now. I know. You know, we're parents because of them. They've changed us too. You yeah. Know what I mean, in a lot of ways. And yeah, in a very good way. So, what I love about you. Okay. I'm you know, for this one. I love. I love a lot about you. You know, Kwame is very gentle. He is kind. He's very, very caring when he wants to be. Right. What I like about you. I what love I like you. About you. Uh. <laughs> I love you. Well, you basically saved my life. I probably haven't told you this, but no. you know how I was out there and you know I was just crazy like that and then I ran into you. And then you just calm me down, you know what I mean? You saved my life, I mean, from a lot of things. Just because it's not happening, I probably won't see what you did. But I know and I feel and I know that you saved my life. Because you, you've done so much to me and so much for me, you know what I mean? With the kids, with the family, to me, you know what I'm let's saying. Keep it, let's give you PG. All right, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so basically, I love you. You are the best. I see the way you are. Take care of the family, the kids, myself. I know I get your nerves sometimes, but you just hang in there and you know, you're doing an amazing job. You work hard, you feed us, you do all types of stuff that I can't even say, but you know what I'm saying, though, right? Mm -hmm. I love you, I love you, I love you too, baby. Baby, I would like to take this time to um, thank you for the past 17 years that you've been in my life. It's been amazing, it's been a blast. I thank you so much for putting up with me. I love you. And um, just have fun today. It's our day, so let's enjoy it. I love you, okay? All right. Kwame, I just want to wish you happy anniversary, babe. It's been 10 years of a roller coaster um, of laughs, a lot of laughs and love and fights and make make it up and make it up again and make it up again i love you um so much i thank god for bringing us here 10 years later um we had no idea um what our life was going to be like 10 years ago when we got married but i'm glad that i chose you and i'm glad that we 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 did this together and that we're here thank you for putting up with me because uh, i know that i can be difficult but thank you for putting up with me thank you for being an, an incredible father to our three amazing children and i just love you so much and i look forward to 10 more years with you and 20 more years and 30 more years so we grow old together and we keep doing this thing called life and i pray that god gives us the strength the wisdom the love understanding good health to be able to do this again thank you so much happy anniversary day love you oh uh, thank you guys so much for being here today to celebrate with us um a lot of you have been here since the very beginning and we thank you for being a listening ear and advice uh, advisors and advisors. praying for us and Helping in yeah. many Whichever ways. Way, you know, yeah. you guys, uh, we love you guys so much. We hope you enjoy tonight's party. That's we are going to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate the love. Yeah, and See you guys in 10 years. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, unless yeah. we have to come to some of yours. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll be doing this every 10 years, for sure. But serious note, yeah. thank you guys, though, for sharing this with us. We really appreciate it. Do you have something to say, Miles? Thank you. Yeah. What do you have to say? Thank you so much for Come in. the tape. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nikki, do you want to say something? Thank you so much. For say Abba. Thank you so much. Nikki, for say thank you. Hey, hey, hey. All right. <laughs>